Kanye was driving a getaway car. Philip went in to the bank, you know, guns are blazing, and, and killed a couple people, okay? And then they, they got away. Well, so Philip is, is prosecuted for murder and given a death sentence. Bennett is prosecuted um, as well and also given a death sentence. Even though Bennett didn't really kill anybody, uh, he was an accessory to murder. And the state, you know, the jury decided that this was appropriate, the death penalty. So the first thing that the proportionality review will do is determine whether or not is to look at this case and compare it to similar cases that have happened in the past. They'll look at, you know, a hundred or so cases where there were two people involved or more and where somebody did the killing, the other person didn't, but was, um, was charged with murder. And in those cases, the, the Proportionality Review Commission will, dis will, it will analyze closely to see how many times did, were the, 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 the folks who didn't do the killing, were they sentenced to death in those cases? And if it was a lot, then this might not be disproportionate, right? But if this was the first time or the only time or one of the few times that the person who didn't do the killing was sentenced to death, then the, the review board might say, you know what, this sentence of death is, isn't proportional, uh, isn't proportionate to the crime. In other words, it's too unusual, um, uh, and we typically don't, it typically has not been done this way, so uh, we recommend that this death penalty be, um, be removed. Uh, so that's, that's the idea behind a proportionality review, is to make sure that um, this, you know, this, the application of the death penalty, again, the, uh, is standardized, is uniform, and is done in such a way that's fair and just. Questions, guys, so far? Okay. Um, well, so once these uh, laws were passed in, in the various states, executions resumed. The moratorium on executions ended after five or six years. Um, in 1977, states began to execute, began to apply the death penalty again. Now, um, with these new laws in place that the Supreme Court said made the death penalty more fair. Um, in those states that chose to have it. And so, we had a resumption, uh, see here, the, uh, a resumption uh, in uh, the death penalty um, in, the, in, the, in the next few years, uh, from the moratorium era down here to the 19, late 70s and 80s when the death penalty picked up. Um, then you had a bit of a backlog there, so people were executed. Um, but then, if you notice here, a trend has begun uh, in the last five, six years downward away from the death penalty on the part of some states. And in fact, what you see is not only are fewer and fewer states um, applying the death penalty, but even those states where there is a death penalty, um, though uh, the executions are becoming more rare. In fact, the, those executions that are happening today are from really old cases that are just finally coming, you know, coming to that point of execution. And there aren't a lot of new death penalty sentences, even in those states where um, capital punishment is, is the law. And finally, one thing to say about this is that one state alone um, makes up uh, the, the bulk of our death penalty cases, uh, especially lately. Any idea what, that, what state that is? Texas. Texas, yeah, Texas. Um, Everything's bigger in Texas, right? Uh, 